Take a look what we got. Experimental Frenzy is fun. Thief of Sanity is fun. Charnel Troll is fun. Beast Whisperer is fun. And Risk Factor is fun. So this could be fun. And Drown Secrets, I've heard, is good too. All right. This looks like a lot more interesting uh, for collecting. So let's take a look what we got. Glaive, Wand, World Soul, Joint Shields, Charnel Troll, Crackling Drake, League Guild Mage, Invert, Thief of Sanity. No. Arboretum Elemental, Beast Whisperer, District Guide. Book Devour, Experimental Frenzy, Smart Warden Minotaur, Risk Factor, Price of Fame, Drowned Secrets, Thought Bound Phantasm, A Sun Home Stour, and a Rock Charger. Uh, so the rares and uncommons. What do the multicolors look like at common? We got Guild Gates for two Selesnia, one Golgari, one Is It, two Demir. We got one Rosemane Centaur. Garrison Sergeants, two Fresh Face Recruits, one Lurcher, one Gorgon, two Hypothesizzles, one Whisper Agent. Wow, kind of missed over there. Two Siege Worms, a Beast Whisper, Charnel Troll, Vigor Spore Worm. That's a pretty powerful late game. District Guide's good, Dissident's fine. Command the Storm as a splash is totally reasonable. Could do a Book Devourer as a splash too. Experimental Frenzy's fine as a splash. Two direct currents. That's promising. That's removal for once. We've got a deadly visit and a price of fame. Are we called Gari again? Like splashing red, maybe? That'd be fun. Alright. And what do our commons look like? White commons are creatures, but not much else. Okay. This this could be fun. This could be fun. I'll leave you guys looking at this. You can have a look at this stuff. get you down to the rare side of things i guess i could just remove the uncommons you could look at it that way all right that's our rares did i have three dead weights i didn't notice that that's interesting we're back in a second we'll start building the deck it looks a lot better in our last deck so that's exciting see you in a minute you guys don't understand sarcasm that's why i have you guys chat if I was just sarcastically yelling at my beetles alone in a room with no lights, or excuse me, with no windows, that would be bad. But the fact that I am able to instead yell at a <laughs> yell at a beetle in a room with no windows and have 900 of you here to enjoy that with me, that's what makes streaming so glorious. Dude, it's so bad. It's just a beetle. Ah! <laughs> oh, nice. We got some options. Go down to five. Well, yes. Mulliganing. A fool's trick. A fool. It's, it's, it's baits you, the mulligan. This deck can't afford to flood. Do we keep a five lander? Oh, it's the same hand, except we removed the creature, kept all the lands, and kept the Severed Strand. Perfect. Nice. Thank you. Maybe we'll do that next turn, too. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but that, that card... No. I'm afraid not. That will have to go to your exile pile. <laughs> he's, he's playing greed. What did he expect? What was his ideal outcome? Not play green? Hope that the green cards left his deck while he was playing? I mean, that's the only thing I can expect he wanted. Tilted. He's tilted. Oh, that's a shitty draw. He's tilted because he didn't tap manually for the fine finality and it chose stupidly. So, poor guy. Alright.
Nature brings your reckoning. I'm not deliberately BMing here. I just want to see how much damage we can do. Any one of our creatures deals damage, he dies. Two ults on the same turn. I've never done that. That would be worth a clip, I think. If anyone has the moment to clip that. I've never, never seen two ults on the same turn. All right, very close game, though. Almost killed us with that early aggro. All right. So... I want to play that card and that card. Probably want to play this card. I don't think we're going to get a Drowned Secret deck out of this. I did have a look, kind of. All right, let's reset our filters. Rock Charger is quite good, but the rest of the white is very bad. Color of the Culprit's okay. Somehow the Stalwart's really good. I mean, we could do a white weenie deck here with this, with the Scout, Stalwart, etc. but I'm not super excited about that. I think we get a better deck out of this with this. So the blue, green, one Dazzling Lights, or Blue Black rather. One Phantasm, one Informant, one Capture Sphere. It's not a very good payoff. Three Dead Weights is pretty incredible. Pilfering Rat to build Graveyard. Burglar Rats are great. Severed Strand is amazing with a deck with that much disposable shit. Two uh, Children of Night, two Bats. Price of Fame and a Deadly Visit, man. Our Black Pool is strong. Red's not that good. We have the Direct Currents. They're not very easily splashed. Command the Storm is pretty easily splashed, and the Book Devourer can be splashed if we want it. The Dissident, four is splashable. District Guide is very good when you're trying to do anything multicolored. Worm is Graveyard Synergy, more Worms. Arboretum Elemental, Foragers. Uh, Gorgon is black green. Rhizome Lurker is a black payoff card. Whisper Agent is black. I'd love to run that card, but I don't see where we're getting blue mana sources from. Ooh, there's a couple more white, red, early cards there, though. Is there some way we could build Boros out of this? Only one is at Guildgate. So we have a better Golgari deck that still isn't amazing. Can splash blue if we want to. We get a Capture Sphere out of it. Splash red if we want to. We get to command the storm and maybe some like top deck cards. Experimental frenzy splashable. Yeah, we could look at the. Well, okay. So that's that's my first take on this. This is probably Golgari splashing red. That's my first take on this. My second take on this is can we do something with the red white experimental frenzy um, fun stuff? So Marshall, witness, scout, stalwart, district dude. Blade dude. Maybe even white green splashing red. We give up all the black removal. Of which we have a lot. So that would be if we did red... But again, this is just the fucking risk factor. That's all we care about there. What if we did white, green, weenies, splashing red? There's one bodyguard which we care about, and then the two direct currents. And the rest of this is very easily splashable. So what does it look like for green, just low to the ground bodies? Did I just add Thief of Sanity? That's not what I meant to click. See, there's not a lot of power in this white, though. It's the problem. There's no removal. There's a couple of decent creatures, and certainly decent early game creatures, but there's no removal. There is, I mean, if I go that route, we get to throw in a couple. We get a Rosemane Centaur and two World Soul Colossuses. So we have some Convoke Synergies here. This is Rosemane Centaur plus um, Elemental plus Siege Worm plus World Soul Colossus. Gives us a big creature that comes out a lot and a bunch of bodies to feed it. 
There's no draw, although we could run a locket. It's going to be an inconsistent deck. And really, Risk Factor doesn't fit in that deck at all, but, you know, it could be run something like that. And I forgot the, yes, the red-white recruits could be in there. Although, I'm not really trying to do stuff with mentoring. Honestly, with Selesnia, you're trying to do something slightly different. You're trying to build the board to then convoke out all your payoffs. So that would be what we did if we went white-green. We'd even go heavier than this if we wanted to. Survive early. Get to our payoff creatures. That's a Slesnia card. Something like that. Big fatties at the top end. Pretty underwhelming. Oops. Okay, so we could do that. Alternatively, I mean, these are all just huge dudes. I mean, we're going to have just a million big dudes. We're going to get tempoed out. And we probably lose the heavy control as well. But if we just get this shit like spamming out, that'd be super hilariously funny. Um, that said, what does our green black look like? Okay. I've never done a mill deck. Be fun to do that. God, we have so much graveyard matters stuff. Oh, deadly visit and price of fame. I'm not not playing those. There's a zero percent chance I don't play fucking price of fame in any deck I milled with this. some nice powerful cards in this too what do we have gates to support this two demir guild gates golgari gateway plaza and is it guild gate i think an is it guild gate would make the cut but it's worth looking at gorgon makes the cut maybe the elemental okay and that looks decent as Golgari decks go. We're missing some early game oomph. Did I get the worms in there? It did. So how do we kill them? Kill them with the value cards, the worm, excuse me, the troll, the lurcher, the worm, the double worm there. A little weak to flyers. Our removal is fairly expensive, but we've got some good bodies. Severed Strands and Burglar Rat is sweet. Twos look really solid. Okay, so what would this look like if we actually tried to play all of our greedy stuff? We don't have to play Thief. It's maybe a little greedy, but it looks like a lot of fun. Risk Factor doesn't really have a place in this deck. Experimental Frenzy doesn't really have a place in this deck, but it'd be fun. Command the Storm and Book Devour kind of do. We could probably get away with not playing red in this deck. We play a different color if we had the option, like white. Splash like a rock course, uh, rock charger, and a uh, like a rosemane centaur, or even the world soul colossuses. We have no Selesnia guild gates. It's a little bit less appealing. This is just blue, black, green. I want to play our fit, our fun red cards, though. This card's amazing and like sealed when you're just fucking top decking. And 
four players, four colors play sword. It's a value, it's a late game value card. Could be strong. Oh, I already threw this Lesnia Gilgates in. Ah, hold on. We could do that. Okay, so we need 13 cards out. So this is red. Red looks fun, has a bunch of our rares in it. Has one piece of removal and a bunch of rares. White's got pretty solid creatures, late game creatures. And an evasive creature. And blue's got Thief of Sanity. But it's very easy to splash with Thief of Sanity. What stuff are we unlikely to play with a deck like this? Arboretum Elemental seems very expensive. Bats are pretty uninteresting. I'm trying to kill them in different ways. Imp is a maybe. Two Child of Knights is probably a little bit heavy. Probably go down to one. Whisper Agent doesn't really fit this deck very well, especially if we're splashing other colors. Red is very easy to splash there. So is white though, honestly. The course, though, I mean, might not be good enough to splash white. Like, I don't know how good World Tour Colossuses are. They feel not so great to me. We do have some shitters that just show up, like Burglar Rats and Child of Night, that a lot of times are just going to sit there doing nothing. There's also a uh, reverse synergy with... Um, Convoke and uh, Undergrowth, which is kind of annoying because oftentimes you draft green cards for to go with white green or to go with black green, but they have different synergies. Like you want to put cards in the graveyard for Charnel Troll, Rhizome Lurcher, uh, and Vigor Spore Worm and Crawl Foragers, and you want to keep cards out of the graveyard and in play for Siege Worms and Arboretum Elementals and uh, World Soul Colossuses. Pretty unexcited by the white splash, honestly. Just looking at it as an option. Alright, we're not going to splash a red-blue guild gate. So we're really on three guilds, three gates. Four if we run the plaza. Don't really have to run the plaza, but we'll see. Oh, is it paper draft? Oops. I don't know what the command is right now, annoyingly. There we go. <laughs> this might be too many dead weights. Don't really need Book of Hours in Endgame, but this card is going to be amazing in a uh, in a format that's super slow if we ever get there. It's not going to be amazing like Niv is amazing. That doesn't win you the game when it comes down, but getting cycle cards would be nice. Command the Storm is another piece of removal. is pretty good. We could get without Risk Factor. doesn't really fit what this deck's trying to do. Could run something like this. This is like a kind of greedy. It's like a mid-range deck with some top shit at the end. It's 41 cards right now. It's Glaive of the Guild Pack good enough for us? It's a Mana Sink. Experimental Frenzy is a Mana Sink. Glaive of the Guild Pack is a Mana Sink. The Karm Dissident is a Mana Sink. If we ever connect with Thief of Sanity, it's a Mana Sink. 
Casting our siege worms is a menace thing. It's a creature count right now. 16. You play five dead weights. I'm gonna get mana screwed so much. What are you talking about? Why would I get mana screwed at this? It's gonna be fucking fine. Question is, what cards do I cut? If I want to keep that guild, uh, that dead weight back in, I'm not sure if I think three dead weights is too much or not. We are very weak to flyers, so maybe there's something to be said about just running all the removal we can. Not just Menace. Menace and Vigilance, which is pretty fucking big. You don't have to run Thief of Sanity. Could be too greedy to do that. I mean, I'm not going to run two islands. We'll fix the mana in a second. But I could potentially run a plaza and two guild gates and be okay with that. It will slow us down for other stuff. Red's a little awkward to splash to, thinking about it, isn't it? Because uh, there's no guild gates for red. What does it look like if we just pull red? It's just I really want to use Experimental Frenzy. All three of these cards look fun. So if we pulled that, we could throw in one more card. It's 39 right now. It's four, gil four gates. It's a mana sink. Could get a Child of Night back in, a Bats back in. Whisper Agent, the Arboretum Elemental. Do I need it or do I want to hit someone with a book a book devourer? I've still never seen his uh, his activated abil his ability go off. I don't know, chat. Creature count right now is fifteen. I'd like it higher. Imp's a good one to get into the graveyard. I could splash Capture Sphere. That would be maybe reasonable. I'm already splashing blue for Thief of Sanity. Is it Guild Mage? If I run blue red. Nah, I'm not gonna. I don't want to double splash like that. Do we get another creature in instead of this Glaive? I have a ton of removal already. Yeah. You know what the downside of having more removal is? Me neither. Me neither. So if we run two guild gates in a gateway plaza, I could probably get away with no islands. Both of these cards are situational and good later. So that could be okay. This is currently... 10 black sources, 7 green, so we definitely need at least one more green. We do want black a little bit more than green, especially early, but not too, too much more. It only works in some uh, format, Citizen. So when I'm like, this should work. When I'm like, this, it doesn't work. Which is kind of annoying for sealed, because you spend most of the time like this. It's a little bit easier in draft. Um, eight, nine, ten. This is seventeen lands. Ten black sources, nine green sources. That's probably right. This is a little bit heavy on this side, but we have a fair amount of early game too. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> Question is, do we want another creature? So the cards that would maybe come out for a creature are Glaive of the Built Guild Pack. Capture Sphere, one of the dead weights. And what creature would we put in if we did that? No problem, mate. No problem. Uh, the Imp. This is a creature that gets in graveyards. It does it efficiently. And by efficiently, I mean it takes you three, one mana to fucking cast a little prick. You have to draw him, and then you spend two mana to kill him. So it takes you three mana to get him in the graveyard. Feels like there's more efficient ways to fill your graveyard. Supposedly he does something when that happens. I'm not sure if I believe it. The bats, 3-1 bats die a lot. I'm so annoyed we're not going to be able to play our 
our experimental frenzy. Don't you just want to play that, chat? I just want to play that. Do we have any more fun multicolored cards? We've got the the Whisper Agent. He's pretty decent. If we're more blue-black than we were, if we're not splashing red now, he's a lot easier to play. 3-2 body that flashes in is pretty good for us. Risk Factor seems more fun than Frenzy. You'd be surprised how not fun Risk Factor is. Uh... Glaive versus Whisper Agent versus Capture Sphere. This is a late game win more card when you're stalled. Do we have enough things to do when we're stalled? Probably. I don't want to remove my removal cards and I don't want to remove my creature count. So I think I'm over here now. It's very close. Four gates isn't amazing, but even plus one plus zero or plus or plus one plus zero or plus two plus zero is pretty good on that card sealed. It's slow and a little bit clunky and very mana intensive, but can be good. Is it Gilgate doesn't actually splash? This is part of the reason why I removed red chat, is although, yes, we do have some dual lands that have red as one of the colors, what you're trying to do when you build dual lands into your deck is you're trying to take your main colors and have a dual land that has your main color and has the color you want to splash. So what I would need is a green red land or a black red land, which don't exist right now, for at least for this format. So... Is it worth forcing blue? This isn't forcing anything. This is splashing two cards that are blue at basically no cost with the guild gates. Gateway Plaza is a little bit slow, but I don't want to run an island. Gateway Plaza versus island. I have double black there, double green there, double green there. No, I think I'm going to keep this. All right. What are we calling this? Never experiments. You know what? I think we'll just shorten that. Call that vanilla. All right. There we go. All 